All right, guys, welcome back. More Dying Light 2. I am, uh, I'm, this is such a good game. I, I can't say enough good things about it. I think that the story is amazing. The side quest stuff also that I'm doing, it's like, it doesn't feel like side quest stuff. It feels like actual stuff they worked on in the game that doesn't feel like been there, done that. You know, it's something fresh. So, uh, you guys are awesome. Love you all. Thanks for all the likes and support. Keep it up. You want the rest of this game quickly. Now, let's get it. All right, man. I'm. I got. I got to go and go on the record right now. This is such a good game. I've already said that. I like it. Early on, the first video I did was my favorite uh, because that that introduction to the game was so good. But everything since then has also been top top tier, man. Uh, private property here. Okay. Now I don't see anybody. I saw the icons. I got spotted by somebody down there, I guess. So what are we supposed to do here? We got... Oh, they followed me up here. No way. Oh, no. Please leave me alone. If I hide, how long does it take for them to go away, I wonder? Go ahead and close that slowly. We got a tape here. Uh, all right. Oh, that's what the guy was cooking. So we're once we're in here, we're pretty much safe, right? Like nobody, I mean, it's a safe house, obviously, but nobody can get to us, I'm assuming. Uh, let me top off. Well, I was going to top off my health, but I just realized I don't really need to. All right, let's go ahead and head to where we need to actually go, which is going to the settlement. I love the name Bazaar. I, I, I want to say, wasn't wasn't that the name? It's like in the Tower for Destiny and Destiny 2. I think that's an area Always called the Bazaar. We're alive, and that's what counts. Howdy. It's nice to see a new face. What's this guy all about? What was he doing? There's something down there. I'll leave you to it, buddy. I'm gonna nerd myself out really quick. There's a. Uh... What's wrong? I think a bee stung me. Damn it. Uh -oh. Okay, sit down. Don't want you passing out on me. I must have noticed how handsome you are and tried oh to punish Oh my god. You. <laughs> I don't need all that right now. We're good. Okay, so Bizarre Baghdad is like a magic card, I think, that pretty popular from like Arabian Nights, but every time I think about Bizarre, like that actual name, that's what I think about for some reason. That's just always stuck with me. I think I can go through here. Yeah, here we go. But I want to also say in the game Anthem, wasn't that the name of one of the areas? There we go. All right, here's my hope, right? Uh, I might save my game really. Can I? I don't think I can save it randomly. There's no manual saving, but um, they have a thing right now. I'll show you where streamer mode. I have it off. I'm playing like a review build of the game, so they said they got it inverted by accident. So they said if you want to be protected, keep it off. When the game like actually launches, keep it on. So it's the patch hasn't come out yet for that. So I'm, I'm uh, going to the assumption that this is the right way to do this. Here we go. Because when I was playing this early on, I heard that song by Metmetric called Help I'm Alive in this area. So here we go. Hopefully it doesn't play. Watch where you're going. What a day. No freaking way I can do it. Hey, 
Alright! We made it! There's like some background music is what I was worried about. I don't hear anything. But that's all it takes is a little bit of... Here, hold on, here we go. This is what I want to see. They offer most powerful weapons. You can visit them also. Okay. Often it increase your combat strength. Ooh, here we go. Alright, here's what I want to do. So we can buy these. I want to see what I... Okay, I can sell this stuff. What do I get for this? Wait, really? Three? Oh, it's based on the durability. Uh, you know what? Let's just sell all this, shall we? 18. So let's see what the highest damage I have is. 20. The bill hook. Uh, crude machete. Mmm. I'll get rid of this one. Get rid of this for 13. The, the table leg. I don't know why I even have that. I don't think I need all this stuff. Let's sell this one. I'm going to just keep like one or two weapons on me at all times. Yeah, this other stuff doesn't seem to matter as much. I'll just get rid of these and I'll just hold two. Um, I do have other stuff I can sell the goods area. Let's see here. All right. Uh, with majority of the population, this is pretty much dead. Um... Can I? I mean, should I sell all this stuff? Sell all valuables, it says. I mean, might as well do it, right? We don't... We're never going to use them. All right, let's see what we can actually buy here. 28 damage. Here's what I'm worried about, right? Remote C4. We got mines. Molotov. Cocktails. Let's go. Um, artifact consumable. What is this? Military med kit. Uh, a case of medical supplies before... Okay. Swimming booster. We're not really going to need those. Medicine I could see, but... I, I almost want to just save my money for right now. We got 1402. I could probably buy a new weapon, but none of these really stand out like, Oh my god, I got I to have it, you know? I think I'll just wait. At least I sold everything I wasn't using. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, now we might use money here though. A UV bar, okay. Wait, so if we have this unique throwable, could I use this to my advantage in a way to kind of like burn them if they get near me versus having to hit them with a pipe or whatever? Fire arrows, that's gonna be nice. Now this is unlocking the blueprint from what I'm gathering. Accessories, mods, yeah, that's upgrade. We can also, okay, here here it is. I, I, I knew it. All right, I can upgrade blueprint if you bring me Infected uncommon. I have oh, I need uh five I only have four Okay, when I saw these bars right here the little like little dots follow with me right there Um, I saw that and I thought when I made like 11 or 10 of these earlier Um, I, I was under the assumption that these bars would fill up like you can only hold like nine or whatever this is It's only like nine dashes then I thought okay when that didn't work. It's got to be Wait, do these all use the same thing infected trophies? Okay. Well, this right here is going to be the biggest thing we need. So it has nine different levels. Interesting. Let's we'll keep the flashlight on because I don't know why when it's off, it's so dark. Here we go. Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, Pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julian, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar. Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? Maybe he's a little suspicious? Uh, I'm just gonna say, what's your proof? Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast. I don't know who to believe anymore. What the hell is going on in the central loop? Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. Maybe this is revenge. Oh, revenge. Did I say revenge? <laughs> revenge? Uh, maybe you stored it improperly? You sure? Know. How do you store it? I buy bottles. There's no way it could become contaminated. 
Not a chance. My supplier, Marco, always has clean water. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it, and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. Hmm. Hold the tracks, so we got a side quest called Cheers. I won't track it yet. Let's, I want to talk to everyone, then I'll kind of figure out what I want to do. Um, I wouldn't mind, before we talk to this guy, I want to run up here. Uh, you know what? That's the pill. Already here. Let's just talk to this guy. Have you seen a ginger with a mohawk? Bastards. What's the problem? Hey, aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? Matt, you were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. <laughs> it's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. I hear music, man. I'm so nervous. Hey, what's a craftmaster? You're not from around here, right? Craftmasters are people who invent new technology, design innovations, all sorts of gadgets that might help in combat. Alberto's the grand master around here. Like I said, I'm his apprentice. People laugh at him that he's slow and not very eloquent, but he's a real freaking genius. <laughs> What's this test about? What's this test about? I have to design something useful for the citizens. I already invented underwater reading glasses for Alberto, then a retractable dog leash, but he kept jamming. And besides, we have no dogs here. All my ideas are worthless. Now is my last chance to prove that I am not worthless. So I spent the last several weeks walking around the bazaar and thinking, thinking hard. And then I hit it. Our goats, they're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. All right, so what's your problem? They said that, that's a little rough. Yeah, that's a little rough. Stressed goats can give bitter milk. Seriously? Goats get stressed? Wouldn't you, if someone electrocuted you and then went for your crotch? Oh, no. It's only a very small voltage. Won't do more than tickle them. So, what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I'm missing a few parts. And they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. As far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever is left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case you'll have to look for other patrol remains, or take a night trip to the store. Uh, I'll have the parts you- wait, I have the parts you need, really? That's an option? <laughs> Looks like you're in luck after all. I have the parts you need on me. Are you serious? That's just fantastic. 
Heaven must have sent you. They're here. I don't know how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen, then. Near the wall. Interesting. So, if you already have the stuff, that's it. Okay, so, I just realized. This right now is where I was whenever the whole thing, uh, I was given, like, the early access. Alright, meet the people. I've already kind of done that, haven't I? You look familiar. Yeah. I'm the guy who almost got hanged. Why worry? You're standing here, aren't you? Excuse me? Look, we had no choice. If you had turned like we thought you were gonna, it would have been a massacre. Uh, you'd have managed somehow. A crowd of people against one infected. Odds were in your favor. Huh. I see you already got a marker. More time you spend here, more you'll understand. Our rules are strict, but that's how we survive. Sure. All right. Go ahead and see what we got. I take a break. Uh, I've been playing for a little bit. Kind of want to just. I, I'm hoping I'll have to test this video out and make sure. If you see everything, hopefully I didn't have to mute any of this area. Just it's one of those things, man. All right, let's look around, shall we? I haven't been up here. Yo, look at this. Wait, maybe there's something you could do where you could set up where like plants can grow here and it's like yours. Let's see what we got. Coins, I'm good there. Extras. I don't know what extras technically are. Um, uh, a little tape. Wait until nighttime. Yeah, that's a great idea. Hey! Oh my goodness. Yo, check them out. A little chicken. Sometimes I can't sleep because of the awful sounds the infected outside make. It's like a little PA system. So it looks like you can. I'm gonna see if I can scale this area. What is this? Nothing. Okay. Alright, so, so far, this is my favorite game in quite some time. I love every bit of it. The combat is better. The parkour is nice. I mean, they, they really took it a notch above what it was. I've already done everything, I thought. Meet the people. Uh, I've already done that. There's no more icons, unless I just need to talk to everyone else. Let's go to the journal really quick. Alright, so we got... We got this one, uh, we got Cheers, it says level two though. I'm not quite there yet, I'm level one, player ranking. Hold on, what's that, increases by leveling up part, oh, so it's like a combination of everything else. Haven't seen my kids in I'm really close to this one. This Let's go hop a center. few rooftops really quick. What is this, throwing knife? Might be useful. Could craft a couple of those. I'll craft two. Or four total, I guess. Uh, what is this thing, rage booster? Temporarily enrages you, increases your resistance, and melee weapons damage. Nice. All right, we got. I don't know what to do here. We got a side quest. Turn on Carlos's device. Um, where's that one at? Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty nervous about this area. Like, where's this radio coming from? You know. Hey, hangman. How's the neck? Very funny. Very funny. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If I were you, then I'd have wished for them to end me. Would you rather have needless deaths on your conscience? I wish you didn't hang the innocent here. Well, it all worked out, didn't it, Pilgrim? You didn't kill anyone, and you're free. Win-win. All right, here we go. Who is Barney? Everyone knows Barney here. I don't. Tell me. Well, I wouldn't bother yourself about Barney. He doesn't like nosy people. Liable to piss him off if he finds out. Hey, you don't want that kind of trouble. Well, now I definitely want to know more. Okay. He's Sophie's younger brother. Some say he's crazy, but he's a pillar of the bazaar. The PKs are afraid of him, and they should be. Barney is no one to fuck with. This is the guy we went. Well, I don't want to spoil it if you guys didn't watch the early video. Howdy. It's nice to see a new face. <laughs> I can't talk to anybody else. Meet the people. I mean, 
we were in there for a while. 